Hey guys, it's me, Wanda D, the motivational queen. Yes, welcome to the I Am Enough talk show where your dreams matter. And today we are doing it live. Our very own co-host, author, Shimia Hill Burton is launching her book right here on the show. So I want to just take a moment to tell you, ask you, plead with you to come on in the room send this message out let everybody know that we're on and we're live so i'm gonna do the same thing so as you come through the doors i just want you to tell me where you're tuning in from and also um if you're interested in becoming an author say me but first let me know where you're tuning in from tell me where you're tuning in from because we want to know we need to know. You all, you know, this is where your dreams matter. This is the I Am Enough talk show. And if you're interested in being a guest on the show, just please let us know that you are, um, that you're interested in being a guest on the show. And real quick, I want you to take a look at this video. Sales and customer service training has dubbed her to be Wanda D. Hollis, the motivational queen. She launched Wanda D. TV, a revolutionary online real estate talk show where local businesses and community leaders discuss their services, issues, and concerns. Wanda is passionate about helping people achieve their goals and dreams. She has gone on to pursue many passions, including her I Am Enough talk show, having a seat on the West Georgia Board of Realtors, author of inspirational and motivational books, and also a strong supporter of several nonprofit organizations within her community. Wanda believes that there's no such thing as bad decisions, only regrets of not making the right attempt. For speaking engagements or to book her for your next event or conference, please visit www.iamenough365.com. Hey guys, thank you again for coming to see us, to hang out with us today. It's a Tuesday, or I should say it's two o'clock. I was going to say Tuesday, but it's not Tuesday. It's only Monday. Hey, Wanda D, the motivational queen. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the winning evening news. Yes. Okay, okay. Wait, hold on. Hold on now. Hold on. See? See what happens? All that good stuff going on. So come on in the room. I'm trying to stall. I'm trying to give y'all time. So while y'all figuring out those buttons, while y'all figuring out which button to push, tell somebody that it's time to come on in the room and win right here because it's going down on the I Am Enough talk show where your dreams matter, special guest in the building, Ms. Shimia Hill Burton, author, and also our co-host of the I Am Enough talk show. So before we get started, let me just tell you, just, just let me just keep you up to speed with who you're about to come in contact with. Shimia Y. Hill Burton. We're going to figure out what that Y is for too today. She was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee in the month of December of 1981. She was raised in Germany and, Sh and Shimia has been writing since she was 12 years old. Shimia's inspiration to write as a first person author was Eggert Allen Pohl. She loved the complicated characters, the inner drama, and the art of writing in first person. Shimia is a graduate from Chattahoochee. Chattahoochee Tech um, College right here in Georgia and Mercy College, Mercy University, where she majored in criminal justice. She wrote Beautiful and Hero, Beautiful and Hero, Love and Devotion in 2008. Shimia published Beautiful and Hero in August of 2011 and the second edition in 2015. She currently resides in Atlanta, Georgia, um, area and you can find all her books on Amazon, S Smash Word, as well as Barnes and Nobles. And you can also make sure you follow her on all social media platforms. So, without further ado, put your hands together for the one and only Shimia. 
<laughs> hey How everybody. Like How you doing? Yeah, I love it. I love the introduction. You love it. Thank oh, you. you look amazing. Queen, look at you. You sparkling. You <laughs> Thank shining. you. Darling. You shining. Yes, yes. You know, you gotta do some things a little less something, something extra. Well, and your mom is watching. She said she is absolutely proud of you. Aww. I love you, daughter. Oh my God. Yes. Thank you for joining us, mom. Please get the word out. And Miss Cheryl is watching too. So thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies. And you know, soon to be gentlemen. We're gonna get all the people, all the people gonna be in the building soon. So, yeah. Queen, are you ready for your special day? I am. You are? <laughs> I am. Well, you know what? Bef before we jump into that, let some tell somebody, get the give our viewers some more information that, that your bio didn't quite um cover. Tell okay. you know, yeah, okay. You. okay. Okay, first off, I graduated from Chattahoochee Technical College. I told him Mercer, that. At Mercer, Mercer University. Mercer. <laughs> Both in criminal justice. All right, I am a mother of two, two beautiful babies. And I have a boy and a girl. I am a security guard for G4S Secure Solutions. I do custom protection. And I also, what, sing, dance, and swim. Those are those are some things that is that's the, some of the things that aren't in my bio. <laughs> well, I'm sing and dance. Yes. Well, I know you can sing because yes. you sung we, for we, me several <laughs> times. I I start off with the tune and you just finish it out. We, I was singing so earlier, now. right? So, um, tell me now, how is it not not the kids? What what ages are the children? They are seven. Uh, no, they are eight. And six, my daughter will be seven in September. Eight and six. Now, do they write as well? Do you have them on the writing path as well? Not physically, but they do have the creative mindset. Okay. Okay. Awesome. They do. Now, and, and it says that you started writing when you was, what, 12? 12. I started, okay, so the backstory of that is, is that I started writing as a hobby. Like most people, it's mm -hmm. a hobby. So I wrote as a hobby. It was just something to do. And of course, later on, I was just like, oh, okay. I did it for classes and things of that nature. And the stuff my teacher read, they were like, you should do something with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, got a really, you got real creative talent. So yeah, I've been writing that long. Do you remember the first thing that you wrote? Yes, I do. I wrote for my, when I was in sixth grade during the holidays, the first story I ever wrote was The Christmas Angel. Yeah, it was this really cute story about this adopted girl who turns mm -hmm. out to be this Christmas angel. She'd fly oh, around yeah. and make wishes and, and grant wishes to people. It was, it, was pretty, it was pretty in depth too. That because... sounds like a winner. That sounds really <laughs> cute. Do you have? Do you still have the story? I do. You do. I do. I have wow. to find someone to do. I have to find someone to do the um illustrations. Okay, but you still have the story. So I would it do. be? So would it be for like a a, a young person to read? Would they? It's, or... it, it was for. It was a kid's story. Okay. So it was oh, it, yeah. anybody. Anybody, it was the children's story. I hadn't seen a lot of black children's story, uh, Christmas stories, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna write mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I did. Oh, wow, okay, that's hot, that's hot. And so I, I understand too, this is the anniversary for the anniversary to the first book. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so, what, what year anniversary is this? Nine. Nine years. So it was nine years ago that you wrote the very first Beautiful and Hero. Well, it's the it was the book launch. Right. So but that I was think... that was my very first book launch. Yeah, so this is nine years ago. Wow, that now that cover has evolved. Woohoo! Yes, Lord. That is so you know what that is so beautiful. So I want you to show them the the up 
the new version of that. Oh, of course, of course. And so um, its sister got published in 2015. Mm, wow. Uh, so put, put them both together. Okay, let me see here. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is a big big difference but you know what that that speaks to this point right here a lot of people are not writing their books because they want everything to be perfect that's true and I, I try to explain to people that you have to start you just have to start somewhere yeah and back a, a little backstory in the beginning I was coming in with everybody who had just started self-publishing so all our books pretty much looked basic unless you spent what eight hundred, nine hundred dollars on somebody to do a cover design. Mm -hmm. All our covers look like that. All our covers look like that. All our covers look somewhat like that. Um unless you, you know you're a graphic artist yourself and you know how to do it. Yeah. But past that, yeah, all of us had our, our book covers look like that. And that was the thing. You 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 were just learning. So it was like, okay, it looks horrible. Content's great. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's that don't judge a book by its cover situation right here, literally. <laughs> but everybody yeah. loved the story. I sold a bunch of copies. So, and people wanted more, as you can see. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, I was doing something right. Hey, hey, everybody watching, come in and give and let us know that you're here. Um, put down your name, put down where you're tuning in from. This is the book launch for Shimia, author Shimia Hill Burton <laughs> and our um, beautiful and hero, The Infringed Heart. Yep. Uh, so you all are that that's why you're here. So I'm excited to be here. We're definitely going to be learning a lot of stuff during this process and that's why I wanted you to share that because a lot of times people hold back because they feel like they're not ready so you want to talk about sharing some of your experiences of being writing ready? yeah cool. and writing okay so like I said I came in the beginning stages of self-publishing self-publishing was very new this is when blurb was still out and uh, Lulu was first coming out and everything else. Um, Create Space was, I don't even think Create Space was uh, um, trending yet. So you do your research, of course. Mm -hmm. You do your research on not just topic and everything else, but other things that you needed to do, like the cover design, whom to publish with, and all of that. But one of the main keys of getting ready to start writing is writing. You have to start jotting down your ideas and your characters. If you need to do an outline, do an outline so that you're more organized on what you want the product to, how the product to flow. You want to pay attention to transitions. That's when you transition from one chapter to the next or one scene to the next. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to put too much filler because you'll lose you know, you'll lose your audience. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, you want to start writing. You do want to start writing. That's mm -hmm. one of the bigger things you have to do. You have to start writing. You need to start writing out your ideas. Don't worry about if it's perfect. I know a lot of people are perfectionists and they want their things to be perfect the first round, but that's just not how this process goes. You want to revamp, revise, redo the cover, layout, there's all types of things you're going to want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was talking to um, a couple years ago, I was had the pleasure of being in a room with John Maxwell, and he was talking about how, you know, like his first books and, and everything, just sharing how um, even when he wrote some of the, the um, I think it was the 12 Laws of um, leadership and he okay. said but he just shared with us how back then he only had this like this content and now you know more and he had upgraded it or had taken some of them off and just different things of that nature so it's always great when you 
when you go back into your work to do those revisions because you know more and you learn more. You you were you've embarked on this trilogy. Did you know when you first started out that this was going to be a trilogy or did was this just like a work in progress? No. So everyone who knows like my my first round fans for the first book, everybody knows this book was only supposed to be two books. It was only supposed to be Beautiful and Hero and Beautiful and Hero Love and Devotion because I wrote them around the same time. Okay. And then what happened was, was when I started selling it, my fans started beating me over the head about how the second one ended. <laughs> so they mm-hmm. was like, no, you can't let it in like that. We want more. We want more. <laughs> Be advised. They are going to ask you for more. They're going to want a side story. They're going to want all types of things, especially with the characters in it that they love so much. So they don't want the story to end. So yeah, they... No, it wasn't supposed to be a trilogy. My fans, they thank you to all of you. They wanted a trilogy, so I gave them what they wanted. Please, everybody, if you have a question for Shimia, please um, put it down in the comment. And and I want to um, just let you know that your um, editor is here. She's, hey, she's watching, and she says... I just posted her comment. I'm her editor from Texas. What part of Texas are you in, beloved? Um, and also... She's in Austin. J-Rod is watching. Oh, so, no. That's Jorge. Or it says J-Rod from ATL. That's Oh, I'm J-Rod. Oh, I see, Ho- I, uh, I see uh, the uh, comment. Ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, 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 ma'am. See, this is what happens when you have your co-host on the show. <laughs> no, I'm always trying to help. I'm always trying to help. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Fine, fine, fine. I'm staying in the guest seat. I'm, I'm, look, look, I'm going to I'm, I'm stay, I'm, I'm stay, I'm stay over here ma'am. looking at the guest seat. <laughs> so, um, and, and anyway, he said that he's um loving your book and your awesome work. So that's great. And yes, she's in Austin. Great, great, great. I am so happy that all of you have tuned in today. Please do me a favor and just um pass this video along. Invite your other family and friends in while we take this journey for this brief time with the queen here showing us, sharing with us her process. So the book, you didn't intend it to be a, a, a trilogy, but then it ended up being a tr- trilogy because because of your readers' demand for it, and um, I I love it. I love the fact that it is now. Take us through the beginning process of when you wrote the first book, and the, tell us about the characters that are in the this trilogy. The main characters, I know. Main characters in trilogy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! So normally, I'm 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 kind of an eclectic writer. Mm-hmm. So things come to me in odd ways. Sometimes they come as visions, you know, for each person, is, you know, it's different. Sometimes they hear a voice, a sound, music. It just kind of takes it away. So that's basically how the process for writing Beautiful Hair came about. I was actually, when I started writing it, I thought it was a love letter because mm-hmm. I was bored at a site that I was at, I was at a nursing home when I first started writing it. And I was like, look, you're gonna either give me some, a paper so I can do some writing or, you know, you know, keep my mind off it or I'm going to sleep. <laughs> so that's what I thought it was. I thought it was a love letter, but then all of a sudden, you know, it just kind of opened up, evolved and spilled out into this really complex, beautiful, an orthodox love story. Now, mm-hmm. the first um, book, of course, is and as you heard, I am a first. I'm, I normally write in first person. Mm-hmm. I can't write another um, in in other stages, but this particular one I wanted to write in first person. So, Carla Michelle Jacobs is our main character in the first book, in the Blue Book. So every the Blue Book. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can everybody see uh, the blue Mm -hmm. book? It's okay. So that's the first book. So Carla Nichelle Jacobs is our main character in there. She ends up falling for a younger guy by the name of Darius Kenye Phillips. Darius. 
is his name. We've had to go through many times with people trying to figure out how to pronounce that correctly. So um, she falls in love with Darius. Our, um, our villain, you may say, is his mother, Alexandria Phillips. Okay. And she is not having it. She is not having it. She don't want this older woman with her son and everything. And so, you know, they embark on this journey together of trying to be in this relationship with Carla having all her ups and downs and roller coaster ride of her emotions and how she truly feels mm -hmm. about Darius. And then you have the favorite side characters, which I'm going to name Franco and Shatoya is everybody's favorite two side characters. You know, in every movie, you have a great sidekick. And Franco and Shatoya are the sidekick. They are, Franco Briars is Darius's best friend. Mm -hmm. And Shatoya is his girlfriend, who comes in a little bit later in the story. But she she ends up still in the show most of the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so those are the main characters in Beautiful and Hero. When you get into book two, Darius takes over and he tells the story as a continuation. It's not the whole story over again. It's a continuation to the first book. And he's still dealing with his mom, Alexandria Phillips. Carla is still in the storyline. Franco is more in the storyline. Chateau is more in the storyline. And you get a backstory. Some mm -hmm. people wanted, really, they wanted to know, you know, Darius' side because they were like, oh, well, you know, I get it from Carla's. Let me see where Darius's head was. You get that in the second one. Mm -hmm. In this final chapter, I did it a little differently. I even formatted it differently. Each chapter is the other main character. Carla starts it and Darius is next and she'll end it. It's just like when you read the books. Carla started it, and then it was Darius in the, in the third one. Carla starts it, and Darius, and Darius is going to be in it, and Carla's going to end it. So, yes, in the third one, it's a continuation from then on out, and you've got new villainous characters that you are not going to You guys think y'all didn't like Alexandria? Mm -hmm. Wait till you meet. Wait till you meet Daryl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I um I find it interesting that you can come up with these characters. What what was the um what was the thought process behind developing the characters? That's funny. I didn't really like I told you I'm eclectic. So when I write, it seen I'm seeing it as a movie. So I'm seeing all the moving parts. So when people just walk in a room, I'm like, "Oh, okay. This is the next person." <laughs> okay. You know, mm -hmm. um Sometimes, depending on the story, you may want to develop a character a little bit more, change the tone if you don't like what you're, um, what's going on at the time. And that's one of the things that I might do. But for the most part, I see it played out like I'm watching a movie. So everybody just kind of walks in and you just see you're like, OK, who is this person? Who's that person? Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm um, you have a comment here that uh, Cheryl said her name drives me crazy sometimes. I believe she's talking about um the side character. I believe is that right, Cheryl? Shell. I'm sorry. Shell. Not, Shell. Not, not not Cheryl, but Shell. Shell. Charge mm -hmm. it to my head, not my heart. Mm -hmm. So um. And if anybody have any questions, please put them in the comments. Or even if you want to come in the room, you can. We posted the uh, the link. And if not, I'm going to post it again. So you can just click the link and come in if you have any questions or want to ask those questions directly. So, um, so Queen, okay, so... You you see things like a movie, you write like that. Um, I find it very fascinating. You know, I had the honor, the pleasure of listening to some reads, some readings, and then our other person read it. I want to know why you make their name so difficult. Okay. <laughs> like his, why his name couldn't be Darius. Why his name gotta be Darius? Because to, I thought I, 
Okay, so with Darius's character, I thought about me. My name is Shemia, but I've been Shemia, Chimia, Chinia, Chinia. I've had all kinds of letters added to my name that is not there, all kinds of pronunciations. I'm like, I don't know where you got it. I was China at one time, and I was like, there is no N. So <laughs> I wanted to play on that a little bit <laughs> with Darius and kind of play out my, my pain and be like, you know, because to be honest with you, Black people love to use common names and use different vernacular. They love to use a different accent mm -hmm. to a, a name. You'll be like, oh, is it Quintavious? No, it's Quadarius. And you'll be like, okay. <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not uncommon. So I was like, Darius. And you was like, Darius? Oh, no, Darius. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, it's funny because um, the first of the, the 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 sound or the um, the reading, she you know called him Darius. <laughs> and I had she said it so good, I forgot what his name was. You know, but yeah, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but but my real fans, my real fans would have killed me. They'd have been oh, like, yeah, "Excuse oh, me, yeah, what? Oh, yeah, what, oh, yeah, what, yeah, what you mean?" Because everybody that knows his name is Darius will correct you. His name is Darius. It's Darius. It's Darius. <laughs> Darius. Okay. Got it. Got it. So um and and um Shell had the same question too. She said, I like to know that too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, and then too, it's a spicy topic. You it know, is. It's a it very is. spicy topic. You have to be open-minded for this book. Now, listen, this is one of those unorthodox stories. I was trying to bring something to the genre that was still drumified without, I guess, the norm of what urban writing has been known for. Mm -hmm. And I still wanted to make it spicy, hot, dangerous, and interesting. And so I, I picked this topic. Actually, the reason I had picked the topic was because it was the anniversary of that teacher-student relationship. I was going to say, I was going to ask you if it had anything to do with that, because I remember mm -hmm. that being it was, a real hot topic. It was, it, was the te it was the anniversary of the teacher-student relationship. However, I didn't want to write about a teacher-student relationship. I thought they had burnt that to the ground. I didn't see movies, books, all of that. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, what about two strangers? Like, like two complete strangers who right. have the complexity and everything. So I didn't think you would like it as much if it was yeah. just a, a, you gotta have the drama. You know, I've got I add a lot of my criminal justice talent to this, like the elements of the court and stuff. I add a lot of extra I guess you know you the extra details. You right. almost see the, the courtroom. I mean, literally, you would be like, oh, you sitting there. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. And, you know, that's one thing about writing is, especially when you're doing um, this type of writing, is you have to be very um, visual. You know, you have to paint that picture. So it's almost like you feel yourself walking, you know, or like I felt like when he, when he picked her up, you know, like you feel that because you're 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 hanging on the letters and those letters, the words that you're reading, they really are become really emotional for you. So it really takes you through all of that. I, I have a question about how do you how do you decide to make those transitions because they they come so effortlessly, but I know there's a lot of thought process behind that. So how do you do that? So, okay, take back. Remember I said I'm eclectic. So for me, I'll act out. If there's a scene that needs to have a different transitional feel or an emotion going on, I have to feel it. If I don't feel it, you're not going to feel it. If I can't get those words to hit you in the chest and you start crying, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm, I can't do it then. Or if I'm trying to describe, I don't want to over describe because I feel like, uh, you know, if you give too many details, you lose the reader with them trying to figure out well, what's going on in the scene. Mm -hmm. So most of the time I usually use action words that are going to 
that is showing the action all the way out. Mm-hmm. You know, grabbed her. She, you know, saying pushed her. She felt it. You know, and it's like her chest hurt. You know, it's like mm-hmm. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, it was like you feel it. You be like, oh, shit, my chest hurt. Did I hit the car? And you have to use those action words, but you got to set the tone behind it. Mm-hmm. The 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 um the build up mm-hmm. before it the imagery behind it what was going on is it dark is it dreary is it bright is it sunny you know that type of thing in order so the transition mm-hmm. the action to take you know it's like oh okay so we got a beautiful breeze out here and all of a sudden you know whoosh right and it's like oh the wind kept up and then mm-hmm. you know it started blowing all over the place and now you're seeing it's like oh lord i'm cold and it's chilly mm-hmm. you know you might you might not say it's cold you'll say i felt a prickling sensation across my body you know that type of deal and mm-hmm. you know so you have to work on the tone behind it then your transition will follow up a lot cleaner Wow, that that's amazing. Um, everybody, we're we're talking to Miss Shimia Hill Burton, our author of the of the day, and um, she's just taking us through the process of how she's writing. So, if you're joining us, please um put in a one if this is your first time checking out the I Am Enough Talk Show, and um, please by all means follow her on Facebook and Instagram. I'm just really excited. I'm I'm getting really hey, there's a lot of questions running through my mind. One thing is I think you will make a f- excellent director. Um and I see I see that in so many areas, you know, being that I'm in that 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 area and I can just see how you would notice all of these things, you know. And these are the things that books Unlike when you go sit down at the movies, you're watching all the action. But when you're putting it in the book, you have to write about it. And like you say, you write about it in different formats. So it's like the prickly sensation, you know, you're like, oh, OK, let me, you know, feel <laughs> I feel that, you know, so um, it's just it's just amazing how you bring all of it together. What do you have any aspirations of turning anything of, of these um, works, fine bodies of works into um, a movie or a series or anything yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody wants to see Beautiful and Hero as a movie. And I've never written a screenplay before. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how to do that process. It's so but easy. I, I am you know so gotta, ready. Yeah. I'm so ready to Talk get to it. D. You know Johnny D. You know we got the we got the juice. We already got see see what they don't realize for y'all listening. We already have a team in place. We got production, we have writers, we have uh, movie producers, everything that sh- that you need, darling. You know we got it. So yes. just putting on you, mom. Thank you for the compliment so much, mother dear. Thank you so much, so much. Um, that's a beautiful comment that you made. I appreciate you for bringing birthing this beautiful spirit into the world, where I get a chance to um to to hang out with her. So it's just a beautiful thing. Hey, Lisa, thanks for joining. So, Queen, um, I'm excited to know what is next. What's next? What's Are you next? Ready? I'm, Are you ready? I don't know. You may scare me. <laughs> I do that to a lot of people. Okay, what's next? Well, of course, since we finally have the trilogy out, we're going to have to do some merchandise. You mm. know? Okay. okay. So I will be launching my my merchandise my merchandise line. So I do have a merchandise line for the beautiful and hero trilogy. Mm-hmm. And so that will be up probably later on today. Now what type of merchandise are you going to be bringing to us? We will have shirts. I have leggings. I have what else? I have hoodies. I have kid shirts. Yeah, and mostly it's mostly um, shirts, hoodies, and leggings. 
Okay. Okay. Tank tops. I got tank tops too. So where then, where where would it where would we be able to purchase it? You will be able to purchase it on Teespring. On Teespring. Yes, and I will put that link. I will put that link in my author Shimmy Hilburton on my author Shimmy Hilburton page oh. after the launch. After the launch. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Great. So we have to follow you on, on, um, Facebook and social media, all your social medias. Now, do you do any type of, um, readings or ongoing? <laughs> Don't give away all the secrets. The whole secrets. You, do you come on now? They need to know because once okay. y'all get a hold to this book, um, it's gonna be juicy, and I thought I, I was hoping that you were gonna bring bring us that other um, piece that you did that you had shared, uh, older piece. It. Uh, Do you have that near you that you could share or no? Do me a favor, share something from the new book. Share something from the new book. Share something from. Show us the new book. Drum roll, please. <laughs> You have to know how to roll your arms. <laughs> That's the money bill going on too. Okay, okay. So y'all get ready. Say, well, hold up. We gotta let everybody know that they're ready. If y'all ready to see the new book, say I'm ready. Say okay, I'm ready. Me... We, we can't move in until somebody got at least we somebody got it. We ready. We ready. For y'all. Come on, hey. somebody gotta somebody gotta put that in the comments. You gotta say we Look, I'm ready. not showing it until you do. Come on so, now. So, I know you people out there, I know you nosy, I know you watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you gotta say it, you gotta say it, you gotta say it. Okay, so we got okay, we got Lisa say I'm ready. She giving us that, some cards. Okay, right. can I get two people? Look, this is gonna be like an auction. Look, look, you're Josh, can I get two? Can I get two? <laughs> can I get two people? Okay, or Lisa, you might need to say it too. Okay, we got one. Oh, Victoria's watching. Hey, Victoria. Hey. Victoria say I'm ready. Okay, can I get Three people. Okay, three. we need three people. We <laughs> okay, just okay. like the book. Okay, Mama say we ready. Okay, we Mama, ready. Now, I'm ready. Come on now, come on, come on. All right, come on. All right, all right, all right. Look, they coming in. They coming in. Hey, Victoria, how you doing, lovely? Hello, so, love. um, Victoria's an author as well. She has a beautiful book called The Chocolate Forest. Ooh, it, like it, it's it's so it's so dynamic, Victoria. I gotta get you on here to talk about the track the forest. That's we an have, awesome we title. Long overdue. Okay, Queen. We they say they ready. All right. We gonna give it to them. Yep. <sighs> there it is. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I love it. I love it. Crack the seal. Crack the seal. Crack in the seal. Crack the seal. Yes. And it is available now on Amazon.com. Woo! <laughs> okay. Yes. So, Queen, okay. read, read us the back cover. You know how every book always have a back. We and so I'll read you. I will read you the back. I'll read you the read back. Us okay. The back so. First. Yeah. All right. Carla battles with her mind and heart once again. When she is offered her dream career as branch manager at D and D Banking, to her surprise, the bank is owned by Daryl Francis Dwight, her former college ex-boyfriend. Carla is hesitant at first about taking the position. Darius encourages her to take the job. Carla Carla assures her hero that she can handle any problems that may arise. Once Carla starts working. She finds that handling, handling the complex issues with Daryl is a little more than she bargains for after all. Especially when Daryl confesses he is still in love with her. Carla's marriage becomes rocky as she debates with herself if Darius is indeed the one. Meanwhile, Darius is dealing with his own issues as he starts college at Madison University with his best friend, Franco Biars. Darius's dream 
is finally a reality when he is asked to join the college basketball team as he deals with the pressures of college life. Now juggling school, basketball, and issues within his marriage, can Darius hold it together as his patience is put to the test once again? Will Carla and Darius weather the storms that are brewing up in their lives or will they drown from the pressure? Everyone's favorite couple deals with their infringed hearts in the final chapter to Beautiful and Hero. Yay! I love it. Um, we got some comments. Congratulations. We got Thank nice. You. We got wow. We got yes. So um so thank you, thank you, thank you. So they're married now. In this book. Right. And and she's being faced with her past. Woo-hoo. Something that didn't come up in either one of these books. So this is a whole new. That's a whole new person that was in either of these books. I try to give somebody a little something sometimes if I'm going to drive it because I had to come up with the concept for the third. We needed to add someone new to keep mm-hmm. everything fresh and going mm-hmm. in the in the first book. You see someone come back in the second book. And I'm not going to tell you who it is, but when you do, you're going to be like, Oh no, they didn't. No, she didn't. I was like, yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we had to add somebody and we didn't know anything if Carla had about her relationships and how they went in the past and right. you know, what has got her mindset the way she really does. And you find out why. Wow. So that's just peeling back another layer of the book so guys y'all gotta go get this book this book is on amazon you can look for author shimia hill burton on amazon and you can find all of her works right there and also queen does don't you have it on your website as well or or? i do i have it i do on my website website? which is um capricornangelbooks.com yes put that in for me yes when when you get a moment when you get a moment Okay, so CapricornAngelBooks.com is your website yeah. where yeah. we can f- find it there on there. I know I would much rather y'all go buy it from the website so then she can um, autograph it and send it to you and all that kind of good stuff. So, yes. um, so I sell the autograph copies on only on the website, only on the website. Exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that and put that over here. Um, so Queen, you want to share with us any of the pages inside of the book? Anything you want to read with us? Let's see. We'll do a impromptu. You'll have to bear with me because you know how it is. You publish stuff. You don't go back and read it a thousand times over. That's okay. I understand. Right. Let's see here. What should I, where should we go? You know what? Let's just pick a random page. Like a random page. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. All right, let me see here. Where are we gonna start? Uh, I turn to look at Daryl, who has already gotten out of the car and is walking towards the house. I didn't want to get out of the car, but I really didn't have a choice. As I walk into the huge, beautiful house, I am in love with the inside of the house. I walk slowly through the house, looking at the marble floor, vaulted ceilings, high, huge dining room, and the commercial-sized kitchen. I finally find Daryl talking to a man in the living room. I can't wait for them to finish. Then I walk over Daryl asking angrily, why are we here? I thought we were supposed to be looking at the new company office. Daryl smiles slyly at me, then saying coolly, yes, we were, but my realtor called saying that I could see this house that I'm interested in. I decided to come to see it, and I knew you would tell me if it was for me or not. You're not mad at me, are you, for wanting your opinion on the house? 
I just stand there a minute, not able to say too much of anything. He did just want my opinion on the house. I mean, he did give me his opinion on my house when I bought it. So I continued to look at the house with Daryl. When we entered the backyard, all I could do is gas. It was huge. The realtor told us that Daryl could build a swimming pool easily out there. We finished looking at the house. Daryl tells him he will take the house. I walked back to the car and get in. Daryl came out shortly after and got in. We, we start driving again as we are leaving the house. I get a text from Darius. I smile from ear to ear as Hero asks about my day and tells me he will be home late from practice. I put my phone in my bag and look at Daryl, who is staring at me. Was that your little boy checking in? I raise an eyebrow at the arrogant prick. Boy, Daryl, just stop it, will you? Stop calling him that. Stop with that condescending tone that you have whenever you mention him. Get this straight, no matter how it makes you feel. Darius is my husband. There you go. Wow. So she hanging out with him, buying houses, helping him buy houses. <laughs> this cannot end good. <laughs> this cannot end good. Y'all better get this copy of this book. Um, Queen, you did something else too that we want to um let people know about that you did on our on our advertising and promotion side of the book. Um, are you ready for that? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Did y'all enjoy that? If y'all enjoyed that reading, put a two down in the comments. If y'all enjoyed that reading, put a two down. I want some down. hearts. And some I want hearts. Some heart. <laughs> get a queen, get Show a the love. Get a queen, Show queen, the queen some love. Get a queen some love, too. Hey, Amber Lyons. What's going on, queen? So, <laughs> so what? So what are we doing now, queen? What do, you, what do you have over there in that magic bag of tricks of yours? So, I am going to start working towards an audiobook. That's a mm. big deal. Ooh. So, I'm working on that right now. So, I'm working on towards um, trying to get the book as an audiobook. I know that you guys have been screaming for it, banging for it. Um, killing my comment sections and everything else. Like, when are you gonna do that audio back? I'm like, okay. I understand. I understand. I understand. Because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people don't like to physically grab the book and read it. Um, actually, I challenge a lot of people to do it. This is not one of those boring stories. You're not gonna want to put it down. You can ask the queen. She didn't want to put hers down. <laughs> it's a good book. Yeah. Good page but turner. I totally get the that you want an audio book I actually am very very excited about the process and we'll see exactly when that's going to drop we don't have a date or anything yet but that is what we're working on we also have other books this is not the end this is just the beginning so I have my suspense thriller confessions and whispers it is getting a revamp and it will be, it is already on Amazon.com, but it's going to get a revamp and it's going to be re-released. And it will have the new book to it, which is Confessions and Whispers, Darker Endeavors. That one is extremely spicy for all of you very spicy, spicy readers who love all the spiciness. You know, you guys always screaming at me about, well, it does it have this? Does it have that? <laughs> it has all of what you're looking for. When you say oh, oh Queen, be specific. Oh, I don't want to be that. Cause... What? What? No, but you gotta tell us. I mean, what kind of spicy? You know, some spicy for others may not be spicy for for some. So okay, so what if kind we gonna... of spices, okay, it? so I'm gonna tell you what kind of spice. Okay, okay. So this is TVMA. Okay, so we have everything. We have um, we have paranormal. We have kidnappings. We have very sensitive topics. So if you thought this was a sensitive topic, we have a def we definitely have some more sensitive topics. We have uh, murder. We have, you know, uh, we have uh, sexual assault. We have, I'm trying to be, 
you know. Ooh. Yes, I have this, what I what I say. That this, pain. Yes, this is yes, this has got burning firewood and and you put, <laughs> you put gasoline on it and set it on fire. <laughs> So everything, pretty much every, you know what I'm saying? We have sex, we have all that. So this book is way more spicier than than Beautiful and Hero ever could be. This is tame. I'm telling you, this is this this is this is the baby stuff right here. So and then of course I'm working on my well anticipated BDM BDSM story blush. Now, of course, that's spicy. That's erotic. Tyson, huh? And you've seen the cover. I have. <laughs> yep. And the cover is now on my website. So when you go on there, you'll get to see the upcoming book for it. You'll see the cover. Wow. So I'm working on a couple of projects. Now. Wow. I love it. I love it, Queen. Um, You had a comment that said, third book seems on point with life's twists and turns. Uh, absolutely thank you. correct absolutely so queen you got um you got some winner well you did a contest i want to tell them about the contest you did and let's get into that because we are approaching our end of our discussion oh you know how it I goes know it. so quickly all good things must end so a couple of weeks ago actually i did this for a couple of weeks Two so weeks ago. Of, yep a couple of weeks ago i did a contest Excuse me. I did a contest, and all you had to do was post the, um, the post a flyer for the show, and you're supposed to like it, and then you're supposed to tag me to it, and I was going to answer you for the contest. Well, we do have some people who did that, so we'll be shaking it up. Yep, we're gonna do it old school, you know. I wrote the names, cut them out. <laughs> Shaking it up, old school. Shaking it up. You got to show them the cup. Look, look, this is the cup. The popcorn cup. Popcorn cup. You know. Okay. So, you were eligible to win a book. Okay, now that will be up to you. I'll let you email me. Uh, this is the first part of it, which was you get to win a book. So, if you have the first one, I'll get you the second one, vice versa. Just let me know when we announce the winner. When I shake it the second time, this was the big one. This was the one to win the whole trilogy, all three okay. books. Okay, well. Oh, she got it for real. <laughs> <laughs> we that's missed the, the bell. That's the first okay. one. So the first so, winner is. Let's see who's my first winner. Yes. Uh, my first winner for one of my books is Keisha Marie. Keisha, Keisha spell, spell her name. I'm putting it down here. Oh, K E I S H A. I S Marie M A R I E. I E. Okay. So, Keisha Marie. Marie, you have. Oh, wait, let's see if I get this right here. Yo, Keisha, you won. Yay, <laughs> if I can get that up there. Anyway, so, so beautiful and hero. Yay! So I, I have your information, Keisha. I will send you an email. And let you know you are the winner if you happen not to be on here right now. So congratulations, Keisha. Okay. So drum roll, please. Okay. Okay. Who's gonna win the trilogy? Now this third, this second pick is winning. What are they winning? They are winning the full trilogy. Okay. Yes. We're big gonna, winner. I, you know what? I might, I might, I might just because it was three books. I might give someone else a chance to win a book. So give me a gift, Gillis. So let's find out. You know what? Let's do that first. Let's let's do one more, and then we'll do the third. All right. Okay, so, so this is not the big winner. This is the second nah, winner. Okay. We're gonna do the second winner. Because okay. it was three books, we'll do three. Uh oh, okay. who we got? Second. Gina Harris. Okay, hold on. Hey, Gina Harris. Yay, Gina, spell her name. G I N A. G 
H-A-R-R-I-N-A. Mm -hmm. Harris, H-A-R-R-I-S. Yes. C and I will... I will get your, I will email you because I have you, you know, I have all your information too. And then you can tell me which book, you'll tell me which book you need. Okay, now here's the big one. Let's get the drum roll, please. Okay, okay. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh. hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to get, get, get our, get our winners out the way. Hold on. Here I come. Here oh, I not come. a problem. Here I come, y'all. Here I come. They like you wasting the year. <laughs> they trying to figure out who's going to win. Yay! Okay, okay. All right, let me see. All right, let's go in here and boom. Oh. Who is the big winner? I want to say her name is Shavaria Horton. Spell it. It's, it's a long name. I apologize if I'm saying this name. Um wrong Shaveria or Shaveria. Um S H E R V E R I R I A. And her last name is Horton. H O R T O N. And she is the winner of all three. Yes. Yes. Yay! Okay, y'all supposed to get excited out there watching. Put some hearts I down. Swear, yeah. I swear, yeah. I know your name didn't get called, but you did you participate, huh? Yeah, some people, it was like, did you participate? Because I got a lot of people on here. I did, I did, I got a lot. You that's know what? good. That's good. That's good. No, yeah. no, that's good. No. So I did three. So, so you we know have three what, Queen? Them. This is my suggestion. So you can you can keep the contest going. This, this is y'all listening to some. The, I, I'm the, I am a marketing expert. So you can keep the contest going by at least to the end of the day. Yeah. No. Maybe the week. Do do some little reads. Do some little yeah. drop in and do some little reads and and tell everybody to go and come over to your page and they have give them something new to do. Okay. 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 Give them something new to do. So there's something for you to think about. Give them something new to do. Then come and then do our little reads, our little bitty snapshots. Not a lot, but just a little. Okay. So we got Miss Horton is the big winner. She won the trilogy of um, Beautiful and Hero. So, and we also have Miss Gina and Miss Keisha. So if anybody know them people, then maybe you need to text them and tell them that um, they won. You won. You won. Congratulations, lucky winners. Yes. Congratulations. I know you're going to enjoy the book. Yeah. <laughs> so, Queen, I really have appre appreciated you coming in, using all your magic for this moment putting your heart and soul into everything that you do, making the best of everything every day. So it's just a, such a pleasure to be able to spend time with you, to, to share in your beautiful moment. This is not only your beautiful moment of launching your new book, but also your nine years anniversary on wow. releasing the first book beautiful and hero so for those of you watching this is what it takes it takes getting started once you get started you can go as far as you want to go with anything that you want to accomplish so queen i thank you for that and queen you want to give people the last word of the day before we get out of here yes i want everyone to stay safe stay beautiful and stay creative Ooh, stay safe creative and beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. mm, i love it i love mm -hmm. it well i'm i'm gonna tap into all three of those things right now and queen i appreciate you so much <laughs> keep keep the magic flowing thank all of our what viewers for watching thank you for all of the lovely comments thank you for all of the support all of the hearts all of the love thank you for all of the watch parties that you all started <laughs> and thank you for keep i want to encourage you to keep coming back to the i am enough talk show where your dreams matter and um shimia i will see you soon darling see you soon
see you soon. <clears throat> People, thank you, thank you, thank you again for, for tuning in today's special broadcast. If you are an author or you have a business that you want to launch, why not do it on the I Am Enough talk show where your dreams matter? We launch businesses. We launch, um, as you can see, we do book launches. We do artist release launches. We take care of getting you the exposure that you need in a very fun and happy setting because we know that your dreams matter and we want to help you make those dreams come true. Remember to check out Shimia on all social media platforms. Follow her, um, connect with her, uh, look, look out for all of the things that she has to come and definitely purchase that book from her through her own website, which is the Capricorn Angel Books dot com you can check her out there so check out the website she talked about more information or i should say more products that she have coming out and and thanks to all the lucky winners today um be blessed guys and thank you so much keep coming back it's been a blast it's me wanted to be your motivational queen and i'll see you next time always be blessed <music>